That'll remain the case through the overnight hours, uh, really uh, the bulk of the northern and western portions of the Midwest uh, from uh, the western UP over to North and South Dakota are under a slight risk. We get to tomorrow, we have a slight risk of our own from Saugatuck to Ionia off to the south and uh, the, especially to the south and west, Kalamazoo and uh, Berrien County as well. Holland, Grand Rapids, Ionia to the north included in the marginal risk, which is a one and a five. So isolated chances north could be a widespread uh, line of severe storms here tomorrow evening south. So a carry into tomorrow morning where we do see the potential of a weak line of thunderstorms to roll through. This could be just standard showers for us or a weak non severe storm. Around 2 p.m. we'll see more instability develop and another line sets up. This is where our greatest threat for any severe weather would be around 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and then lasting until about 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock. So again, the afternoon and evening is our focus for any severe weather potential. Into Friday morning, we do track more showers, but again, non-severe by the time the sun sets and Friday is going to have some sunshine. Our biggest focus will be the wind gusts upwards of 65 miles per hour. We do track the chance of hail up to an inch and a quarter and a tornado threat is non-zero, but it'll be a weak brief spin up as it stands right now. Here's the view in South Haven as clouds continue to increase this evening. Still a great evening to get out to the water as temperatures are in the low 80s in South Haven, 83 degrees, as well as in Holland, 81 in Fremont, 82 Big Rapids and Hastings still holding on to 89 in Kalamazoo. Tomorrow we do for uh, forecast rather a 90 degree in Kalamazoo, 85 in Grand Rapids in upper 70s near 80 in our northwest communities as those storm potential uh, starts to build through the day. So in the morning we have the non severe chance. We look dry for a few hours in the afternoon and then in the evening is our bigger focus around 4 p.m. Uh, is when that line of storms will move through. Not a great day to get to the beach. One other part with this line of thunderstorms, it brings us the coolest air of the long term forecast highs near 80 Friday and Saturday before we really do start to warm things up into the early portions of next week. A nice stretch of weather is setting up here. Two days of sunshine with highs in the low 80s. The warm air moves in Sunday. Highs will be in the 90s for Monday and Tuesday. Overnight lows in the 70s. A lot of heat, humidity. We're talking heat index near the upper 90s early next week after our storm chances tomorrow.